Hey guys, it's Jessica from Pace Love Books and Shame here with some Duke romances. I did this video like a year and a half ago around when Bridgerton was blowing up because it's the Duke and I. Dukes sell well in historical romances and I feel like it's the historical equivalent of like the millionaire trope because the Dukes are some of the highest in society at the time. They're very wealthy. They do have some like obligations. They like run estates and stuff and they have to make sure like they are taking care of their tenants and all that stuff but a lot of times they just have to go to ball and social events and just be rich. So I have some recommendations for you. I've done this video once before and I'll link it down below but I believe these are all new and I wanted to do it though because I recently read Splendid by Julia Quinn which is her first historical romance she wrote published in 1996. She has like such a baby author photo like look at how young she is in that photo. I just love seeing all the the author photos from these books because that's like almost 30 years ago. I just realized that this is published like a couple years after I was born and yes I'm almost 30. So this one is just a really good romance because our heroine is an American and she's coming to London to come out in society so she's staying with her cousin but she still wants to marry someone American because she's going to inherit a shipping business back in America from her father that she's determined to run. She helps out already. She's a very independent woman. Well she has a really fun meet cute with Alex who's a duke and he is instantly captivated by her. He's already said he's not going to marry but he will go to every ball she attends. Like, he hates society, he hates attending events. He goes to literally every single event of the season just to see her. And he constantly threatens to, that he's gonna ruin her and she can't because of her reputation, but the family ends up meddling and wanting them to be ruined so that, that he marries her. And it's just like such a good romance. He's very alpha, he's very possessive. I love that in a historical romance hero. I feel like that's a common trope with Dukes as well. I love this book so much. We have a lot of intrigue and suspense near the end. This was our historical Hellions pick for the month of January and it was very split. Like some people gave it like two or three stars. I was in the five star camp, I absolutely loved it try this book out. Then I have She Tempts the Duke by Lorraine Heath. This is one of the recent Lorraine Heath books I've read and it was really good. So our hero's next in line to inherit the dukedom and his uncle actually murders his father when he's like 12 and he has a twin brother and a younger brother and so they are sent to this like tower and they know they're going to be murdered by their uncle and so the heroine was actually really good friends with Sebastian and they're they grew up together and they're like best friends and so she knows something's going on so she actually goes and rescues them and helps them escape and he promises to, to see her again and so 10 years have passed uh, roughly 10 years and the three brothers are back and they literally like crash a party and everyone's like what is going on and he's like I'm here to claim the dukedom because my dad's been dead for 10 years the uncle hasn't been able able to achieve the getting it just yet the title and he's like I'm here I'm getting my title and he can't do anything about it and so our heroine is actually engaged to someone else and she's always though thought about him and they were like just best friends growing up. So it's a childhood friends to lovers romance and he is actually really scarred on his face. Him and his brothers went through really rough childhoods growing up on the streets and on the sea and like in the war and so they have a lot of damage and they're finally reconnected and reunited so they have to kind of go through what they went through without each other and they kind of feel at fault for what their brothers went through. It's so good. I love this one. Book two is amazing too and now he's the one that was at sea and so I just can't recommend the series enough. I do have another Lorraine Heath, and I'm sorry I have a bunch of hers on this list, but I literally love her. I have The Duchess Hunt by Lorraine Heath. This is book two in the series. I read it as a standalone, but I went back and read Scoundrel of My Heart. Definitely recommend reading book one, too. But this one, our heroine actually is the assistant to the Duke. The Duke needs a wife. He puts out an advertisement in the paper all the things he wants in a wife and people write in to say why they would be a good wife. She actually goes through everything, attends balls with him to see these women to help him choose who he wants and it's a mutual pining. They both are super into each other but they can't do anything about it because she's lower class. He's a duke and it's just so good. Like mutual pining extreme. They both have a bit of a secret as well and I just was so in love with this book and he, there's a caretaking scene in here and he realizes like the bad conditions not bad but like they could be better for his employees and so he wants to spoil her and it's just so good. Next I have Surrender to the Devil by Lorraine Heath. This is book three in the series and this is actually Franny's story. So Franny's very interesting because it's a group of kids who all grew up on the streets together and so the first book was the hero was determined to marry Franny more so out of like he felt he needed to instead of the fact that he loved her and so he was like grappling with that the whole time and then got married to someone else and so then we also have someone else who's in love with her but she's not in love with him. So Franny is very smart. She has her own fortune and she helps out with all the guys from the series. She's really 
close with them. They're super overprotective of her. So no, that going in. But then she meets the Duke at a ball and he is just instantly infatuated with her. Franny was really hurt as a child too. And that's why everybody's really super overprotective of her. She was taken advantage of and forced into things she didn't want to do. And so she does not trust wealthy men whatsoever. But our hero constantly shows her that he really does truly care for her. And it's just such a good romance. If you like, like overbearing kind of brother type characters trying to take care of the heroine, I would definitely recommend this. And again, I would recommend reading in order because like you get the full extent of their relationships. But I just love the series so much. And this one's a great one with the Duke hero. I swear I'm going to do a guide to Lorraine Heath, but the next one is Falling Into Bed with the Duke by Lorraine Heath, which is actually the book one, and it's the Hellions of Habersham series. This one has to do with, like, a pleasure club, and so our heroine is a spinster now. I think she's had, like, six seasons. She's like, I'm just going to be a spinster, but she really wants to feel wanted, and so she goes to a pleasure club where I believe, like, everyone's in masks, you can't recognize anybody, and she meets someone, and she, like, sparks fly between them, and he is an interesting character, and I, I think he's like a, an artist, a photographer. He loves photography. And this one was really good. Our Duke is more than willing to show her the art of pleasure. If you like pleasure club romances, I think you would enjoy this. And this one is the one where the all three of the heroes were adopted by the like mad Marquess, I think. And it's because their parents passed away. And so it's so good. And like the fourth book breaks your heart. But the series is so good. This is book one. So I would recommend checking it out. Oh, okay. I, I didn't think I had any more, but I have The Duke and the Lady in Red by Lorraine Heath. This one is just... I cried. Like, this is so, so amazing. Our heroine needs money. She meets a man. They are instantly attracted to each other, and they're like, I need you, and I want you. What is this? And it's the Duke, and she, though, needs money, and she is trying to swindle him out of money, and she does. He catches her before she leaves, though, because she's ready to leave with her family, who she needs the money for, and he's like, seriously? And he's so mad. And so he's like, fine, you really want my money? Spend seven days with me. And so she agrees. Her family is amazing in here. Literally cried because of how uh, emotionally attached I got to some characters. But this is so good. If you want a Duke who is like absolutely infatuated with the heroine, which I feel like is very common in Duke romances as well. You need to read this. Then I have My American Duchess by Eloisa James. This one is amazing as well because we have brothers and one is a Duke and she is an American heiress and she's been engaged a bunch of times, broken it off, and she's like, next time I'm engaged, it's gonna be for real. Well, he sees her is instantly infatuated with her. She's mine. She's perfect. I love her. She's so refreshing. She doesn't, like, keep anything to herself. She's an American. And so he's like, I'm, she's gonna be mine. Little does he know, his brother, who needs money, proposed to her earlier that night. So it's a brother's fiance romance, and it's amazing. I loved it. So much angst. I love that trope. This is amazing. Then I have The Duke Stolen Bride by Sophie Jordan. This one was a really fun one in the series. There's a lot of hit or misses in the series for me, but in this one, he, our hero, he had like a really drunken night and he wakes up and sees this woman being sold and she's being sold by her father's friend because her, I believe she like had to marry him because her dad passed away. So he married her, but then he's like, no, I don't want you anymore. I'm gonna sell you off. And so she's being like auctioned off at this market. The Duke sees her and he buys her and it technically like he's buying her as a bride. And so he has to take her and he's determined to take her to be like, his maid or something because she's low class at one of his estates so it's a traveling romance and they fall for each other and it's really cute. I really like this one. I have an amnesia one and that is How to Forget a Duke by Vivian Lorette. This is also like a matchmaking one. Our heroine comes from a family of matchmakers. I believe this one is inspired by Emma by Jane Austen. In this one our heroine's family is supposed to like find matches for people and the Duke wants them to and she ends up falling for the Duke. But she is low class and she knows that he needs a duchess of high standing and money to marry him and she ends up getting amnesia and like recovering at his estate. So it's a fun one. Then I have Any Duchess Will Do by Tessa Dare. This one is so good because we have a duke who needs a wife, but he doesn't want to get married, so his mother pretty much kidnaps him and takes him to Spindle Cove and is like, pick a wife. You're gonna take one. Spindle Cove is like where spinsters stay. So he's like, fine, I'll pick one, and picks the barmaid. And that's our heroine. And so the mother's like, fine, because they're very stubborn. And she's like, I'll make her into a duchess. And he actually strikes up a deal with her saying, you need to sabotage any chance of being a duchess. And like, I forget what she gets something. Money maybe because she has family she needs to take care of. And so she ends up being trained by the mom and falling for the duke 
even though she's not supposed to, and he falls for her even though he doesn't want to. So this one's fun. I love it when a duke doesn't want to get married, but falls in love in the process. So those are always fun. Then I have The Duchess War by Courtney Milan. I love this one so much. This one, our heroine has a bad past. So, like something happened to her, so she has PTSD over it. She has a lot of social anxiety. She doesn't want to be noticed, and she ends up like hiding behind a curtain when people come in, and our hero sees her, and he's a duke. And there's also this whole scandal going around that people are encouraging the workers to strike, and some people think it's her, and she's like, stop paying attention to me. I don't want his attention. It's not me. And so her and the duke end up spending more time together, and like he falls first which is amazing. Oh, I loved it so much. Like, I need to reread this before reading the next book because I remember just obsessing over it, and I read it early 2021, so it's been a while, and I need to continue on the series, but this one, so good. And the last one I saved for last because I feel like everybody's read it, but it is literally everybody's favorite. I have not met someone who has not liked this book. And that is My Darling Duke by Stacey Reed. We have a scarred hero, we have a heroine who needs to make a good match, and so she wants her sisters to make a good match. So she tells the papers she's engaged to this duke who has not been seen in years because he is scarred and he is unable to walk a lot, so he's confined to a wheelchair and he has just not come out in society in a while. So she says she's engaged to him. Like, even his lawyers are like, here's his money. Like, you're engaged, right? And so she's like, oh my gosh. So it turns into this, like, big thing she didn't mean for it to. And then he shows up in society because he's like, who is this woman claiming to be my fiance. Then he ends up saying, fine, come and spend some time with me at my estate in Scotland. And they do. And they fall in love. And this is another one I want to reread, but the audiobook, do not listen to the audiobook. The narrators are not good. Like, I struggled with this audiobook, so do not listen to it. I end up physically reading the, the second book because I can't. So don't let that ruin your enjoyment. Read this physically. It's amazing. And those are some Duke romances I think you should check out. Let me know if you have any more Duke romances you'd like me to read. I have tons more that I've read, but this is just what I have for this video, and I will show you my previous video in case you haven't checked that out and have some more Duke recommendations. But that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching, and have a good day.